Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today I'm going to be talking about the clutch quadrant, the firewall adjuster, and one of the modifications called the free play elimination mod. So we'll go over those one by one, and uh, they can be very helpful for getting your car to run right, as the factory system relies on a plastic gear that will soon strip over time, and so uh, going to this method is very common on these cars, and so I'll talk a little bit about uh, each of them. So the first is going to be the firewall adjuster. And so what this does is as you turn this wheel, as you turn it to, to the counterclockwise position, it unscrews itself. And as it adds more distance, it will actually tighten your clutch cable and give the same effect as if you're putting your foot on the clutch pedal. And so uh, the way that this works, a little dirty, sorry about that, but uh, you remove the factory piece here and then you screw the housing in and um, then you have to put your clutch cable inside. So you gotta unhook your clutch cable from inside the car and pull it out. And then uh, you usually go to an aftermarket cable, but personally I like the Ford factory one and I'll show you why in a few minutes. And that one requires you to kinda grind it down a little bit so that it will fit into here. And uh, so anyway, as you turn this wheel, backwards or forward you're going to be able to make small adjustments to the to the uh, clutch system okay so going inside the car underneath here it's actually for the clutch pedal but it's going to be located above the gas pedal is just where you can find it that would be the clutch quadrant and so you just take off the old one and you put on the new one it sounds uh, simpler <laughs> than it is so uh, at some point I'd like to do a video on the whole thing when I can get a car with a stock one. All my cars already have this done. But uh, the clutch quadrant is basically just where you hook the clutch cable to, as you can see at the very top there in the screen. And so all you have to do is slide this new one on and hook up the clutch cable that's coming in. So this will replace the factory uh, plastic system. Now the factory one in theory is very easy to, to adjust. All that you would do on a factory setup is pull up on the clutch pedal and it has a ratcheting, self-ratcheting uh, deal. Um, but after those uh, teeth kind of strip over time, it's somewhat useless and it's gonna slip on those, uh, on those teeth. So at this point now there's no adjustment from the pedal. You have to be under the car or using the firewall adjuster to adjust it. So we'll go under the car now and I'll show you that. Okay, so we're now underneath the car. You can see we jacked up there and we have it properly and secure on these jack stands here. So you're gonna to wanna to find your transmission and there's a dust shield right here. And we have to take this off and it's very simple. One eight millimeter bolt. And once we take that off, this whole uh, shield will slide right off. Okay, so with that removed, this just slides off. Okay, so with that uh, dust shield removed, you can see the clutch cable coming in this way, and it goes through until it connects to the clutch fork. Now this is the free play elimination mod, and all it really is is this spring and the housing that comes with it. And so its whole purpose is to put pressure on the clutch fork in that direction to kind of keep it away from the diaphragm fingers of the clutch. And by putting pressure on it that way, it makes it so that your clutch pedal isn't flapping around. So if you've done this modification before of just the clutch quadrant and you have a Steeda cable or a Ford Performance cable coming through and it's just threaded on the back and you've put on the nuts to hold it in place, you probably notice that your pedal kind of flaps around as that throwout bearing is basically just touching the diaphragm fingers. So this helps with that free play. Now it confuses a lot of people though because what it makes them think is what is you want to have this clutch away from the diaphragm fingers and not even touching. And that's not true. You do want the throwout bearing touching so the throw bearing here touching the diaphragm fingers just so that there's enough pressure to spin the bearing. You don't want to have it too much to where it's putting too much preload on the bearing and, and burning the bearing up. 
and if you have it not touching at all, then every time you go to push in the clutch, it's going to go from zero to whatever RPM you're at um, real quick, and so that can also um, hurt your throwout bearing. And I have another video that kind of talks about those two methods, and I'll put its link in the description. But basically what I wanted to get to is this. The, uh, the Ford cable I really like because it already, when I pull this spring back, you'll see, it has its own little spring in it. And so it's kind of doing this free play elimination mod thing itself. And for some time I actually even took this off and I was, I was pretty much okay running it without it. I still had a little bit of that flap in the, uh, in the clutch pedal. But all this is is a spring. You can go down to a hardware store and probably make your own. And, and all it's doing is helping put a little bit of pressure onto this clutch fork. Uh, so that's what the free play elimination mod is, is just the spring in this little housing here. And I like running the Ford OEM clutch cable. I had the other ones and you know it was a, a pain to kind of push the clutch fork against the clutch and then put on those nuts in the back and then get it all adjusted right. But anyway, um, you could have it set up either way. And as you can see, I'm even running it with the Ford cable. Um, but the, the proper way to have the clutch set up is to where it's touching, you know, the throwout bearing is touching the diaphragm fingers and it's spinning with just enough preload to keep it spinning, but not so much that it's starting to put pressure on the bearing excessively and burn it up. Otherwise, that, that'd be the same as if you were just riding and driving around with your foot on the clutch and you know you'd burn your uh, throwout bearing up that way. So... Uh, anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I just wanted to show some of these components. One day I may do an install on it. Um, as you can see, it's pretty simple. It just slides over the cable, and the Ford cable just slides right into the clutch fork. But if you have an aftermarket kit or considering one, they're probably going to send you their version of the cable, which just has threads on the end, and you have to put on a first jam nut so it doesn't go anywhere, and then the second nut to tighten it. And it's, uh, you know, it leads you to have to use the firewall adjuster to adjust it, which is, you know, the same with this setup too. So anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I uh, just wanted to show you these different pieces and kind of what they are. And uh, yeah, just put in the comments if you have any questions. I'll try my best to answer them. Thanks for watching.